Yeah. Shall I continue, sir? Yeah, you can start. Okay, uh, friends, I think uh, some people are at to join because it's there in Sunday mode. Uh, let me discuss one important product of your bank. Please keep your pen and book. Now I will tell orally. For the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I will explain you orally what is your recent bank product, which is Mr. Premium Payroll Package. I will discuss in depth so that in the examination, whatever question come from this product, you can answer. This was introduced after our MD sir joined. So it's a very important product for your bank to increase CASA. This is what the intention why this product was launched. So there are so many points, people are getting confused. So yesterday somebody messaged me, sir, why don't you explain that product? So in our Spark program, which we are conducting in all STCs, we are telling about this product to all the people, especially in Hyderabad, I used to teach them in Telugu. So it's a good opportunity. I can teach you people or make you understand what exactly the product is. The purpose of this product is to increase CASA. Okay. But who will take this product? The beneficiaries will be salaried people. Only for targeting salaried people only, this product has come. And this is applicable to only salaried product. There are three type of products available under this product. You have to remember silver. Another three by default, you remember GDP. GDP, you know, na? GDP, GDP, we call na. So silver, gold, diamond, platinum. There are four products. Please write. While telling, you will understand. Even later also, you can listen to my class after recording this uh, of this particular session. First, you try to read, uh, write. Because when I am telling, you should understand what exactly happening. Silver means any employee, any salaried person comes to you. Up to 50,000 salary, gross salary, if he is having, then it is called as silver. So silver on the bottom, you write up to 50,000 salary. Gold. Gold means 50,000 to 1 lakh salary. If anybody earning 50,000 to 1 lakh raw salary, we will open gold. Then comes diamond. 1 lakh salary to 1 lakh 50,000 salary. Then last is platinum. Platinum is 1 lakh 50,000 and above salary. So there are four products. Four products are defined based on salary that is gross salary so now over this is the eligibility of the customer or a salaried person any other conditions are there yes there are some other conditions number one number two only salary second condition is age age is for a salaried person who, who wants to open this silver gold diamond platinum is 18 to 65 examiner may ask what is the age for pay payroll package 18 to 65 second eligibility Third eligibility, they have to provide a mandate which your bank has designed. That mandate they have to provide from the company where they are working. That is third eligibility. Fourth eligibility, number of accounts. Can we open single account to all these four people? No. For silver account, minimum five accounts are required. If five salaried persons are coming, then only you can open silver. But in gold, diamond, platinum, single account we can open. This is one more condition. These are the basic eligible conditions for any salaried employee to open this particular account called payroll package. Now the customer will ask, sir, okay, salary is there, mandate I brought, age is there. And the last one is salary, age, ah, minimum accounts, five accounts or one account. Now everything is complete. Now customer will ask you, what are the features available, sir? What are the benefits you are going to provide to me? That is very, very important. Now, being a Canarite, we have to explain the features to the customer. Then only he will open with all these eligibilities. Number one, the three are very, very important. These, these three are unique, I can say, in our bank product. Most of the banks, many banks may be giving, but one or two other banks are not giving, we are giving. Those three, first I will tell, write the headings. One is TOD, temporary overdraft. Second one is Personal insurance and accidental insurance. Both you have to write. Personal accident insurance divided by air accidental. PAI, personal accidental insurance divided by air accident insurance. This is second one. TOD, personal accident insurance. Third one is term life insurance. Sir, there is a difference between term life insurance and remaining insurances. Term life insurance means if a customer, if any person taken this product, if he dies, it, any cause, maybe uh, cancer, any general death, this amount can be paid. This is term life insurance. Personal accidental insurance means he should met with an accident, 
साइकिल रिक्शा ऑटो कार ट्रेन लाइक दैट एनी एक्सीडेंट हैपेंस ओनली दिस अमाउंट विल बी गेटिंग दैट इज पर्सनल एक्सीडेंट एयर एक्सीडेंट मींस इन द एयर व्हेन ही इज ट्रैवलिंग थ्रू एयर फ्लाइट देन ओनली इफ एनी एक्सीडेंट हैपेंस देन ओनली दिस अमाउंट विल बी पेड टू द नॉमिनी और अ लीगल हेयर हुएवर इट मे बी दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पर्सनल एक्सीडेंट इन एयर एक्सीडेंट देन कम्स टू टर्म लाइफ टीओडी फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट टीओडी TOD means these are all the employees who are opening salary account with us. So we can give them overdraft, temporary overdraft. How much? How much we can give temporary overdraft? Now you write the amounts on the four columns: silver, gold, diamond, platinum. Serially, I will tell. Silver is ten thousand. Gold is one lakh, two lakhs, three lakhs. Ten thousand, one lakh, two lakh, three lakhs. This is the maximum amount we can give. TOD to these people. What this TOD is? Any emergent situation, if they want, they can apply to the bank and they will get it. The most important point is bank has given this TOD facility to these customers through A one app also. They can apply through A one app, your mobile banking app, and they can get the funds. They need not go to bank. But for silver, A one app through they cannot apply. But these three people they can apply GDP. But only condition is when they apply through A one app. maximum number of days the od is permitted god will be permitted is 15 days gold diamond platinum through a1 if they apply 15 days 15 days 15 days that's all they will not give more than that but if they are applying through if they are going to branch why they have to go to branch when there is a1 app is already available the your bank rule says more than 15 days if you are providing any tod documentation is required so he cannot execute documentation through a1 app that is the reason now he has to go personally to branch to apply for maximum days for example platinum platinum tod through a1 app only 15 days but if he goes to branch he will get for 90 days after 90 days maximum 90 days he can use the tod if he want for more days more than 15 he has to go to branch up to 90 days for platinum customer up to 50 days or one two days only he want funds then he can apply through a1 app this is the facility so a1 app access are applying od is applicable for only gold diamond platinum customer silver customer this facility was not given and one more eligibility is there for a silver customers minimum 6 months minimum 6 months they used to uh, the salary should be created for silver customer for gold diamond platinum if single salary as created in their account they can take tod from the bank again i am repeating for a silver customer minimum 6 months salary is required credited then only we can give tod this 10000 rupees also but for gdp customers one month salary has come that means everything is there we can straight away give tod whatever eligible i told 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakhs now the next point is how much rate of interest we will charge to these customers for providing this tod the tod rate of interest is rllr plus 2.5% this is the rate of interest we charge and number of days how many days you will permit this tod if they come to branch and personally avail silver silver or they can take but maximum is 15 days but gold diamond customers they can take maximum up to 60 days and the last person they will get 90 days that is platinum platinum they will can avail 90 days this is with regard to tod they can ask any question how much amount for uh, that is easy question rate of interest okay anything they may ask we should know the concept of this particular product so that any question comes you could able to answer tod is over if anything forget i'll add you then come to then we will go to um, person uh, term life insurance this term life insurance bank will cover for silver customer only 1 lakh only 1 lakh and gdp is 2 lakhs 4 lakhs and 6 lakhs 1 lakh 2 lakh 4 lakh and 6 lakhs this is for term life insurance let me check once yeah it is correct only 1 lakh 2 lakh 4 lakh 6 lakhs coming to term life insurance immediately when the once the account opened in payroll package it will be covered no after 10 days of account opening only this will be credit this will be coverage this coverage will happen 
this term life insurance coverage will happen after 10 days of account opening. This is the most important point. They may ask you, term life insurance bank data hai after how many days? Our logic says minimum one salary should come now, but bank has not kept such guidelines. Bank kept after 10 days of account opening, automatically term life insurance will be covered for these customers. Okay, term life is over. Then comes to personal accidental insurance and year accident insurance. Please remember here, whatever I am telling in the insurance amounts, with, this is with including your rupee debit card insurance. Bank has told with rupee card insurance, this is the amount we are going to cover. First, I will discuss silver. Silver is maximum 16 lakhs. For sir, Ravi Kumar, sir. Sir, yes, sir. One minute. Yeah. Uh, many people are repeatedly asking for PPT. In the... Sir, I have not... I have not prepared the PPT. No, no, I'm that's sharing. what I am trying to reply them only. In the okay, initial okay. stage itself, he has told very clearly oh, bad he has not yet started the class. Ah, that's no, why. those who have joined earlier also putting the message. Sir, this presentation will be given by Jagannath sir in the afternoon. Don't worry. Ah, okay. Yeah. I am giving you a brief product, but half an hour I would like to tell you one product. So that if you understand these points, when Jagannath sir is discussing, automatically it will fix. Maybe he will show the presentation. Anyway, don't worry. I have the presentation. I'll share it with you. But this time... And, uh, one or yes. two people have doubt in the uh, rate of interest. TOD. R ah, sorry. Yes, sir. RLR plus 2.40. 2 point is for Jeevandara. Yes, you are correct. Sorry. I have said wrong. Correct, correct, correct. This is RLR plus 2.40. RLR 2.5 is for Jeevandara product. That I will discuss later. Or next session, I will discuss. Correct, correct. RLR plus 2.40. I made a mistake. Yes, because sorry I'm for running from my memory, na, I made a mistake. Sorry. Sorry for okay. interruption. You can continue. No, 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 sir. Anything is there, they can tell me. I'll correct. I know the number, but only thing is I confused with Jeevandara and uh, payroll package. Okay. Now comes to insurance. Pay, uh, personal accidental and air accidental insurance. 16 lakhs, 18 lakhs is the for silver product. 16 lakhs for personal accident and air accident, it is 18 lakhs. I am telling again, this insurance amount is included with the rupee debit card. Please note. Okay. Then come to second is uh, gold. Gold is 26 lakhs and 28 lakhs. 26 lakhs. Personal accident. Air accident is 28 lakhs. Then come to diamond. Diamond is 38 lakhs and 44 lakhs. 38 lakhs for, sorry, 44 lakhs for personal accidental insurance and 38 lakhs for air accident. Here there is a reversion. Generally, in any pol insurance policies, general uh, personal accidental will be less and air will be more. But in the diamond product, this is a reverse. 44 lakhs for personal accident, 38 for air accident. And last one is 54, 58. See, I can tell 16, 18, 26, 28, 44, 38, 54, 58. But when I'm telling, we linking the product, now I'm getting confused. So 16, 18, 26, 28, 44, 38, 54, 58. This is with regard to personal accidental and air accident insurance. And entire premium will be covered by the bank. These are the three very, very important features of this product. Okay. This is with regard to these three. And uh, uh, remaining things, uh, I think when Sar is taking the class, you people will understand. I think I have taken time off. Shall I continue or uh, some more features you want me to teach or Jagannath sir, anyway, it will teach because presentation is not there. Na? Based on that, I'll continue. Otherwise, I'll start my regular class. People are asking you to continue. Okay. Then let me tell. These are the three important features. Now comes to other features of this product. NEFT, RTGS, SMS, IMPS, everything is free to these customers. Important price. Debit card, free to these customers. Debit card also, there are two types of cards will be issued. One is Rupee Platinum, another is Rupee Select. Please remember, the first two, silver and gold, bank will issue only Rupee Platinum card. Coming to last two people, diamond and platinum, bank will issue Rupee Platinum card. All these four cards, issue is free, annual maintenance also free. Coming to credit card to these customers, credit card is free to all these customers. But 
credit card annual maintenance charges no it is not free for all the customers for silver they have to pay full amount gdp bank told 25% concession 50% concession 100% concession this is with regard to credit card debit card ho gaya credit card ho gaya kaun sa card ho gaya but remember when the debit card like what is the card we are issuing rupee platinum and rupee select there are some facilities well when we are issuing this card of rupee these features are the number one feature is they can use domestic launch in india any 20 plus launches are there they can go they can use these domestic launches free of cost only 2 rupees they will debit from the account and they will allowed to use the launch for that it is free launch free how many times every quarter two times it is free domestic launch international launches also they can use like if they go to america they can use international launch how many times two times in a year if it is a domestic within india quarterly two times if it is abroad you are going international launches if you are using only two times in a year this is the best feature in rupee card now coming to other features when a rupee card is being used five additional features number one cash withdrawal 1 lakh point of sale terminal they can use up to 5 lakhs third one nfs facility that wifi we are using the tapping that is 5000 into 5 times 25000 baggage production 25000 purchase production 25000 this is with regard to debit card linked what are the cards we are using what are the facilities given by these cards so i have discussed so debit card is over credit card is over locker you are giving see whatever you are providing to this customers whatever generally you provide na everything some concession has been given for example locker locker usage unlimited free this customers what is unlimited here unlimited is generally for any normal customer we will allow him to use locker only 12 times in a year for this man any times it is permissible because he is having a payroll account with us about 12 times we charge 100 rupees plus gst for other customers for this customer it is free this is about locker now coming to locker rent concession yes it is permitted locker rent also there is a permission how much locker rent generally is for silver it is nil no concession but gdp customers 5% 10% 15% on rent concession they will get that is with regard to locker no locker is over nft is over debit cards are over or kya rtjs is over what else is left ha one more thing not only this customer is all anyway he will have a zero balance account along with that his spouse and children also will have a zero balance account but silver nothing is permitted for gold customer bank bank told spouse plus one account they will permit zero balance but diamond and platinum bank said spouse plus two spouse plus two accounts that means two children also can open zero balance account this is with regard to account opening zero balance and if their spouse and children also bank has given permission dds dds you are issuing na customers for silver customers two dds free but gdp customers on limited dd free any number of dds they can free subject to average balance maintained in the account okay next retail lending loans if they are taking any retail lending loans processing charges have been waived to some extent how much silver nothing was waived gold diamond platinum 25% 50% 75% processing charges under retail lending has been waived this is with regard to retail lending processing charges now comes to check book check book generally for any customer 101 customer we will give only 20 leaves only free but this customer we are providing 10 times 200 check books are free this is the another benefit of them i think almost i have covered all the point which is applicable to this particular scheme okay over i think i have covered everything only uh, one thing i would like to tell you is instant overdraft facility i told na 10000 1 lakh 2 2 lakh 3 lakhs their bank said for a silver customer last month 50% previous salary maximum 1 lakh uh, maximum 10000 we will give 50% of previous year net previous month net month sal net salary maximum 10000 is for silver for a gold customer two months net salary 1 lakh i told 1 lakh two months net salary or maximum 1 lakh for remaining three customers 
it is three months net salary. Diamond and platinum, three months net salary. Amount is same, two lakh, three lakhs. But for examination, you have to remember is ten thousand, one lakh, two lakh, three lakh. If they, if if at all they want to tough, tough, make the question tough, they will ask how much amount. And the last and most important point, which I would like to tell you, is charges. If they are not, if, they, if we have opened the account, if the salary is not coming continuously for three months, if salary is not coming. Or in a year, four four months, if salary is not created, then bank will take some charges, service charges, penalty. How much? Very simple. Silver, it is two fifty. Remaining all, add two fifty. Two fifty, five hundred, seven fifty, one thousand. These are the charges applicable for payroll package customers if their salary is not continuously coming for three months or maximum four months in a year. If it is not coming, this is the penalty we have to. Charged to these customers. This is with regard to this particular package. If anything I have forgotten, you can tell it chat box. I can add. I hope with understanding this product. Now, when you listen to sir, when sir is taking session, you will understand better. That's what. That is the reason. This is a very important product for a Canaanite to understand. That was the reason I have explained once. Now, sir also will explain so that you will be comfortable in this product called uh, Jeevan Dara. I have not explained. We will see later if time permits. At the end of the session, I will tell. Okay. So, okay, let us go to our regular session. If any question is there, you can put. I will tell. If anybody is known any other uh, feature, they can ask me. Remember, when this uh, debit card is issued, like rupee debit card, rupee is also covering insurance. How much for a self? Four lakhs and eight lakhs for normal personal accident is four lakhs. Personal accident insurance. Air accident is eight lakhs. This is rupee card is giving. And spouse also they are covering two lakhs and four lakhs. Two lakhs for personal accident, four lakhs for air accident. This is rupee card is covering, including this only I told 16, 18, 26, 28, 44, 38, 54, 58. Okay, this is with regard to rupee card features. Okay, I hope I have covered each and every point which is available in the in my mind and brochure. If anything is missing, you can read the circular. Anyway, the presentation is with me. I'll show sure also. I think, sir, my screen is sharing, sir. Sir, I think she. Hello. Class no nine. Okay. Ah, chapan. Ah, ah, and ah, and. Sir. The other, the screen is visible to you. Screen is visible. Yeah, yeah. Just I'm waiting for your voice only, sir. No, this uh, uh, left hand side uh, that the screens will be there. No. Which one? That sir? is left hand side slaughter. Mm. Screen slaughter will be there. No. Premium payroll, any salary person can open like that. Uh, screens are available, no? Uh, that is slightly bigger, so it is occupying more space. Yeah, one minute, sir. I'll, first of all, I'll see. Let me open. Or this. you can go for slideshow. It will be comfortable to everybody. Just to move slideshow. Just to put a FA, it will, it will show. No, see, sir? Yeah, fully available. Uh, Okay. Yeah, so this is what everybody is asking. Now I'll give a glance to you. This was, I have prepared. Actually, I want to make a YouTube video. Who can open? Only salaried person can open. How many variants are available? Silver, gold, diamond, platinum. Okay, up to 50,000. 50,000 to 1 lakh. 1 lakh to 1.5. Above 1.5 lakh. I think I have cleared now. See, while reading the PPT is different, while understanding it is different. I made you understand. Now you check. Features available. Zero balance account for the customer. For gold, silver, no. Spouse plus one. Diamond, spouse plus two and so this way of teaching, sometimes it may miss your points. This is a product. That's why I tried ma manually. Term life insurance. Bank will cover 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 4 lakh, 6 lakhs. And 10 days of account opening. Same thing. Na? Then personal accidental insurance. Bank will cover 16, 18, 26, 28, 44, 38, 54, 58. Right? Includes with the rupee card. What is the instant overdraft? They go. Silver GDP. Who can avail? 50%, 10,000. Two months gross salary, net salary, 1 lakh. Tenure, two months. 
3 months net salary, 3 months net salary, 2 lakh. 10,000, 1 lakh, this is very important amount. If you want how much amount, uh, maximum eligibility means, this, um, this we have to remember. Tenure means 2 months, 2 months, 3 months. Yeah, this is where... This is where I made a mistake. 2.50 I told this is Jivandara. This is 2.40. Okay. How to avail? Two ways. One is A1 app, another is visiting branch. Survey silver branch only through branch. They cannot use A1 app, silver people. Remaining all they can use, but A1 app only 15 days. Branch visit, they can get the days, two months, three months. This is what not two months, three months. This, this if they want this period, then they have to go to branch. Branch to visit. Locker charges. Generally, I told na for they for they, they will be able to fall for na after that hundred rupees plus GST for these customers unlimited locker operation all four. This is the locker charges as per circular and they will get concession like silver no concession five ten fifteen. NEFT charges actually this is not for you for examination purpose they never ask this you remember NEFT is free RTG is free IMP is free SMS is free. Why I have written these charges are if when you are telling some customer free what is the free they should know the value. This is the value. This is for my video I prepared to make you understand. Not for examination, not required. Checkbooks, 200 leaves are free. DDs, unlimited free. But silver, only two DDs are free. General customers, DD charges, maximum 12,000, they can save. ATM cash withdrawal, I told now that uh, uh, debit card, that rupee card, 1 lakh, pause 5 lakh, airport check-in baggage 25,000, purchase production 25,000, NFS 25,000. These are the five facilities available for rupee platinum cards. Processing charges on retail loan. No concession, 25, 50, 75. Same thing already I've told every point. Credit cards, issuance free for all variants. Maintenance, silver, no concession. Full amount they have to pay. Gold, 25, 50, 100. Charges, concession is there for annual maintenance charges. Debit card, they will give two type of cards. Silver and gold, platinum they will give. Diamond and platinum they will give. Select card, free for all variants. But free for AMC also free. But AMC, how much amount can be saved is this amount. Debit cards, charges. Generally, uh, this point I forgot to tell you. This is applicable to debit cards. When customers are using your own bank card, your own debit card in your bank also, there are some charges. Six transactions free for normal customer, eight transactions free for senior citizen, and ten transactions free for uh, six General aid staff. Staff is 10 transactions free. Beyond this, if you are using ATM in your own bank ATM also, bank will charge. How much? 20 plus GST for financial transactions. For non-financial transactions, 5 rupees plus GST. This 6, 8, 10 principle will not be applicable for these payroll customers. They can use your own bank ATM for any number of times, free ATM. Earlier days, we used to we use our ATM na, any number of times. Like that, now they have been allowed. For general customers, it is not so. Financial, non-financial, both including only six, they are free for them. For senior agent, eight. For staff, only 10. Okay. Other bank ATMs, if they are using, charges will be there. Even though they are payroll, it will be charged. How much? Three for metro and five for other than metro. This is the rule. This is airport launch, I told now. Airport launch, two per quarter, it is free. And uh, international launch means 500 are there. Airport launches where rupee has uh, tied up, two per year. These are the facilities just for understanding only. Leave it. Okay. This is what this is what the scheme. I think I have explained every point. I have not missed age. What is this? Yeah. Even other when we are going for payroll package, if already they are having account with other bank savings account, we can take that account. When that then that customer will tell now I am having housing loan, car loan also with that bank. So bank issued one more circular in that bank told. If they are coming to our fold, their house, the retail loans, we will not charge any processing charges, lawyer charge, valuation charge, everything bank will borrow. This is what bank told. Okay. So lawyer charges are free, valuation charges free, zero, zero processing charges, provide best rate of interest. Okay. This is what to bring the salaried customers who are already having loans. For example, you went to a SBA salaried customer. You have told all these features. He wants to come, but he tells, sir, I have already car loan housing loan there. You can bring them and these charges also bank will absorb. Whatever charge, valuation, lawyer and processing charges, bank will absorb. Eligibility already told, 18 to 65, minimum five accounts for silver and GDP. One more thing, eligible customers, 
bank said in this particular product is individuals anyway eligible illiterate blind senior also eligible these four options you have to remember 18 to 65 na that's why they told what are the documents required obd pan card two photos salary slip and mandate from the employer these are the required okay this is what this particular product is i hope you understood now now one sir is telling there can be questions on this particular product because it is a very good product and i feel that it is an important product of your bank also you must know as a canarite also for examination also they may ask some questions on this product okay this i'll share it later so that you can also read but understanding the product is very important not that i feel personally that's why personally if you listen to me only you will understand carefully you will you will remember more if you see the ppt sometimes you cannot remember okay let us go to the today's topic is that okay sir now okay is that okay 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 so friends today i have taken topic general banking and legal aspects okay so this is a very important topic especially for uh, scale 1 to 2 but last time in 3 to 4 also many questions came from general aspects but this was last year i have taken this class at the end of my program end of the cdoa program so i have kept it little early this time okay let us understand this some uh, data or credit or concepts will be there in uh, banking relationship banker and customer also in balance sheet also balance sheet there's a different terminology here i am talking about your bank depositors or advance customers see one thing you have to remember is if anybody is giving money customer is depositing money he, he, if he is giving money he will be called as a creditor as a banker you are receiving money you are taking money so you will be called as a data this always you remember i made a shortcut cg and dt cg means gives money and dt means taker like that i made a memory so that you will not under creditor data concept you may not confuse in the examination hall now come to the reserve bank of india notifications so as and one more thing before uh, talking on these rates please remember before examination once you go to rbi site and verify maybe there will not be any difference but if at all you want to 100% ensure yesterday i went to rbi site and i have checked what is the repo what is the reverse repo then i have quoted here this is as on 14th october okay may not be a change before november there not be a meeting of rbi so i am not presuming but still for a safety i told you now coming to reverse repo always you remember reverse repo reverse repo is now presently rbi said 3.35% reverse repo is 3.75 repo is 6.5% you see okay before understanding reverse repo reverse repo and repo rate one logic i will tell you here as a regulator reserve bank of india will do two things one is they will take money from your bank and another is they will give money to your bank sometimes bank will borrow money sometimes bank will deposit money now you tell me in reserve bank of india whether your bank wants to deposit how much rate of interest they will give less or high when your bank is borrowing whether they take more rate of interest or less rate of interest common sense when reserve bank of india is accepting deposits they will give for for example take the, forget about the percentage now if reserve bank is taking your bank is having more funds they want to keep with rbi rbi will give i will give you only 5 rupees just for example when your bank goes and asks i want money then rbi says we will charge you 10 rupees right now for example now you understood that means when bank wants to deposit the money rbi gives lesser rate of interest when bank wants money rbi gives takes charges more rate of interest this is common sense and logic now let us see what is reverse repo rate and repo rate reverse repo rate is your bank is keeping the money so if you remember 3.35 is a very lowest rate of interest you will understand here the concept of bank is parking their excess money with rbi that means bank is depositing the money if bank wants money bank is having a shortage of money then rbi charges 6.5 this is difference between repo rate and reverse repo rate first understand the concept then how repo rate is being used by rbi rbi uses repo rate used to control the money supply how 
how they will control the money supply. For example, if RBA, just imagine, RBA increased the reverse repo rate. What your bank will do? Instead of giving loans to customers, what we will do? We will, for example, reverse repo rate, RBA made it 7%. What you will do? Safest, now you keep with regular, you will get 7%. So when increase in reverse repo rate, bank get a more rate of interest. So what banks will do? Banks will park their funds with RBA. When you when your bank parks the money with RBI, bank will not have funds to lend. So money supply will come down. This is how RBI regulates. If RBI wants to send the money to the market, what they will do? They will decrease the rate of interest. Then what bank will do? Why I will give it to RBI? I will give loans. So automatically, the money will flow into the market. This is how RBI controls money with reverse repo rate. Reverse repo reduce means reverse reduce means bank will banks don't park their funds if reverse repo increase it means 10 percent bank will keep why we will give msme loan why we will give a retail loan car loan at eight percent better to keep nine percent at rbi at reverse repo rate that is the rate reverse repo rate so for understand the concept is different now rate of interest only you have to remember reverse repo rate bank present rbi is giving 3.35 percent okay next comes to repo rate reverse rbi lends money to you but only thing is, it is a short term money. Whether they will give without any collateral? No. They will give against government securities. Your bank has to give some government securities. On that securities, RBA will give funds to your bank. And for that, RBA charges 6.5%. Okay, now, now, now our CASA is decreased, for example. We can go and take money from RBA also. RBA will charge 6.5%. But only thing is, it is short term money. Okay. This also bank uh, RBI controls liquidity in the market. How how bank, RBI liquidity how liquidity will be controlled by uh, repo rate uh, increase or decrease? Now you see, RBI increases the repo rate. Automatically, your bank wants money for ten percent. Uh, your your bank is taking money. Whether how much how much rate of interest bank will lend? If I am taking from RBI ten percent as a Canada bank, I will charge twelve percent to customers. So the cost of borrowing will increase in the market. Now you see repo is increasing one by slowly. So that's why your rate of interest also increasing. Decrease in repo rate. If RBI decreases repo rate, bank will get a cheaper cost. So banks also will give to the customer at a cheaper cost. This is the intricacies with regard to reverse repo and repo rate. Okay. So this is the concept. Sometimes they will ask how to how RBI controls all these things. So you don't understand the concept also. But the most important thing for examination is what is the rate of interest. So reverse repo is 3.35, repo rate is 6.5%. Now come to bank rate. Bank rate is also, also RBA is giving money only to your bank. Rate of interest is always 25 base points higher than repo rate. How to remember I'm telling bank rate and marginal standing rate, both are 25 base points extra than repo rate. 6.75, 6.75. So what is the purpose? What is bank rate? Short term money if your bank wants, repo rate. Long term money. Without any security, if your bank wants, bank rate we have to pay, that is 6.75%, 0.25% extra we have to pay to RBI if you are not providing any security and if you want for a longer term. This is called bank rate. This next comes is marginal standing facility rate. This is only overnight against government securities. Again, security RBI asks, but overnight it will be only overnight. Next day you have to pay. Example, your RTGS funds have been Funds are not there in your account. You want to, you want a money. You can take from RBA for overnight. So that is marginal standing facility rate. Like that, you should understand repo rate, reverse repo rate, bank rate, and marginal standing rate. For examination purpose, I always remember in my in my mind is first is reverse repo rate. That is three point three five. When I understand reverse repo rate, three point five lesser rate of interest. Remaining concepts will be very clear. Automatic repo will come. Repo will be double. Reverse repo. I will think that RBA is Banks are parking the money with RBI. That is the reason RBI is giving lesser rate of interest. Then automatic remaining concept will come into my mind. Okay. This is with regard to reverse repo, repo and bank rate. Now comes to cash reserve ratio and the statutory liquidity ratio. Recently in the news, you might have heard that Reserve Bank of India wants to increase cash reserve ratio. But later they have dropped the decision. Now presently it is 4.5% of net demand and time liabilities. Whatever demand is CASA, time liabilities is your term deposits, FDs, KDs. On that, whatever deposits you have received from your customers, 
for example you have a 100 crores deposits from your customers from casa and term deposits on that 4.5 percent maybe 100 means 4.5 rupees 100 rupees means 4.5 rupees you have to keep with rbi this is called cash reserve ratio there is no minimum no maximum it is rbi's discretion how much they want to keep they can keep presently it is 4.5 percent and the 4.5 rupees whatever you are keeping with rbi rbi will not pay you any interest and the crr will be monitored on fortnightly basis every 15 days they will be bank has to see how much demand time level is they have on that 4.5 percent they have to pay to rbi if any short is there they have to increase that crr okay this is how crr is maintained why why rbi is keeping the crr with your bank 4.5 percent in the any emergent situation comes to any commercial bank in future then maybe reserve bank of india will release this money when liquidity crunch has come you cannot pay to your depositors then this 4.5 percent on deposits will be released by rbi to you to safeguard the interest of your bank this is the concept of crr now coming to SLR, this is statutory liquidity ratio. This is maintained based not only, this is only deposits, right? On the top one, CRR is only deposit. But SLR, not only deposit, gold reserves, cash, PSU bonds and approved securities, whatever is available on that 18% we have to maintain present. But as per act, it is zero, no, minimum is no, any amount they can keep, maximum 40%. As per the rule, RBI can go up to 40%, but presently RBI stayed at 18%. This is how you should understand this SLR. Now the CRR SLR. I think anybody can answer this question. Because whoever seen my nurture class, they can answer. D. CRR, what is the answer? And SLR, what is the act? All are confusing. Numbers are same, acts are same. Who to? Many are answering D. D, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one D. Okay. What about SLR? SLR A. Okay. Very good. I think you may be knowing because you might have heard or last year you might have attended my class. Let us see how to remember. This is what the formula. See, remember CRR and SLR are very important acts. 24 and 42 are the sections for these two. 24 and 42 acts are RBI and Banking Regulation Act. Okay. So, how to remember is, actually that slide is there. I have missed it out. Okay. How to remember is CRR. Two R's are there. I always linked with the RBI Act. Okay. Then number is 24 and 42. I always give the big number to CRR. So 42 of RBI Act defines CRR and SLR is left out. 24 will come down and BR Act will come down. This is how I remember. I think I have explained in Nurture also previous year also. You need not, I did not explain again and again on this topic. Now let us see some sections with regard to your Banking Regulation Act. See, there are so many sections. Even if we go through, we will forget. So better is examiner, what type of questions he has asked at the previous 10 years I have seen. From that only, I have tried to give you some sections so that you can remember and you can reproduce. The first one, Banking Regulation Act, 19.2 and 21. 19.2 and 21. These are restrictions of lending or restrictions on banks. RBI imposed how as per section 19 to what bank what RBI told is banking regulation act says is banks can hold 30 percent paid up capital of any company or 30 percent of its own paid up capital and reserves whichever is less here for examination purpose you have to remember is answers both are 30 percent that is enough but for your understanding I am telling for example if your bank wants to give a loan to a company, for example, so a company has come for a finance. How much we can finance? So, or how much we can, sorry, if your bank want to invest in a company, how much investment we can do? So, bank can invest, for example, that company net worth is 100 crores, maximum 30% of any company. That company 30%, that means 
30 crores paid up capital your bank can hold 100% come 100% of that company you can, you can your bank cannot take maximum 30% of that company number one second one your own bank what is the net worth your bank is having on that 30% maybe your bank is having 10,000 crores okay on that 30 means 300 300 companies is 30 whichever is less 30 only we will take off that company okay this is how bank can invest in a company bank can hold 30 percent paid up capital of any company where you want to invest or 30 percent of banks own paid up capital and reserves whichever is less your bank is having thousand lakh crore capital so but that company only 100 crore. for example 100 crore, 30 whichever is less company only less so 30 crores we can invest this is the restriction in your bank this section you have to remember 192 and answer 30 30 you have to remember concept bull job but just for understanding i told okay second one whether bank can lend on its own shares in canara bank you are having canara bank shares can you go to canara bank and take loan you cannot take why because reserve bank of india sorry banking regulation act 20 subsection 1 has told all the banks banks cannot lend on its own shares if 21 has been removed then Canada Bank shares you can keep and you can take loan in Canada Bank also. Okay. This is what 192 and 21. Remember, 20 is regarding shares, 19 is regard to 30% paid up capital. These two are very important. 30% wala question is important. Wo bahut bar hai question. Kabhi -kabhi, sometimes we will remove 30 30. Sometimes we will say the answer and we will ask the section. Both we have to remember. Then come to Bank Regulation Act, section 26. Unclaimed deposits. You as you know very well. After two years, bank account will be inoperative. After 10 years, it will become unclaimed. Yesterday also in KYC class, we have we have discussed about this. Normal account is low risk, regular account. Inoperative is medium risk. Unclaimed deposit is high risk. After 10 years, unclaimed deposit will be transferred to DEF fund. DEF stands for Deposit Education and Awareness Fund. The abbreviations also they will ask. But after 10 years, we have to transfer our bank deposit. The customer is not at all operating for 10 years. Unclaimed. Now, unclaimed deposit, when we have to transfer? Within three months of expiry of 10 years. That means 10 years, three months time is there to transfer. After 10 years, three months time only available for you to transfer to Reserve Bank of India debt fund. This is what you have to know. And one more thing is rate of interest. For this also, rate of interest Reserve Bank gives you is 3%. Okay. Then comes... 35A of Banking Regulation Act. Yesterday also I told you when I am talking on KYC policy. The KYC policy has been issued by Reserve Bank of India by its supreme powers got from the section called 35A of BR Act. From 35A of BR Act, bank not only issued KYC guidelines, RBI, one more also, Ombudsman, clean note policy. All these guidelines issued by Reserve Bank of India by virtue of the powers they got from 35A of Banking Regulation Act. These four sections are very, very important as far as BR Act is concerned. Then one more BR, that is nomination. Nomination also, they have discussed in Banking Regulation Act. Remember, if nomination on banks, if they ask, the section is 45 ZA to ZF. Remember this number, 45 ZA to ZF. ZA to ZF, you can take, but ZA to a to ZF is for all the deposits, all any nominations in the bank, all these ZA to ZF are controlling. But if you take individually, there is a difference. What is the difference? For example, generally nominations we will take on deposit, safe custody articles and lockers. Only three. Remember, deposits, safe custody articles, lockers. Remember, what is the maximum we will give? Maximum nominations being a banker of 28 years, I made on deposits only. Safe custody articles, I never gave a nomination. Lockers also, I never gave. Lockers also, in my branch, it is not there. The maximum thing which as being a banker we do is deposits. Why I am telling is there is a logic. 45 ZA to F, we have to divide into three parts. There are three types of nominations we accept on deposits, lockers, joint lockers, and safe, sorry, safe custody and lockers. Now, 45 ZA to ZF is divided into three parts. ZA to ZB, ZC to ZD, ZBE to ZF. A to F are six alphabets. AB is one, CD is one, EF is one. Now you correlate. Now, first one is deposits. 
maximum we will do. So first one will apply. Z A to Z B under Banking Regulation Act talks about your deposit accounts nomination. Then comes forty five Z C Z D C D C stands for custody safe custody articles forty five Z C and Z D. The last one is lockers forty five Z E to Z F is locker nomination facility. You have to remember these all six sections in such a way. So that in the examination, if at all examiner asks you also, you should be able to answer. That is the purpose I told. First is deposit, second is safe custody, and third is lockers. Three type of nominations we took. So first one is deposit A and B. C means custody. Remember like this. E and F is lockers. This is lockers is lost. This is how you have to remember. Then comes to nominations. What is the status of nominee? Many times he is asked. Nominee is trustee of legal heirs. Remember this word. Everybody thinks that nomination means nominee will get the entire money. It is not so, sir. For example, one family is there. Husband and three children are there. Wife and children, two are there. Husband expired. These three people can appoint one. For example, the husband will nominate his wife. For example, wife is the trustee of this legal heirs. For children also, she has to take care. This is how the nomination was defined. So that is the reason they say trustee of legal heirs. Then nomination, whether we can take from any account? No, it is applicable only for individual and proprietorship. That's all. Partnership account, see partnership, company, trust, society, they cannot give nominations. I hope I am clear. You will generally see individuals more in your branch. Proprietorship account also can give nomination. This is what you have to understand from nomination part. Then, how many nominations? Okay, these sections have defined all these things, right? Over. Now, how many nominations can be accepted? Please remember, for safe custody article, single nomination only allowed. For joint lockers with joint operations, two nominations are allowed. For a capital gain account, maximum three nominations are allowed. This is the maximum nominations. Then, let us see whether minor can appoint nominee? No. Minor cannot appoint nominee because minor cannot, doesn't have a contractual powers to have an agreement with the bank. That's why they will never allow, they will never allow a minor to appoint anybody because he doesn't know anything. Now, see, minor means you are thinking that he's a boy who knows it. Two years boy also nominee, minor. Whether two years boy can appoint a nominee, he cannot appoint. If you understand this, you will not, you will not make any mistake. Minor means you don't think 18 years, 17 years boy. No. Two years boy also nominee. He cannot give, you don't know how to write also, what to read also. So minor cannot appoint nominee. He, can, he doesn't have any knowledge. He doesn't have any contractual capacity. But on his behalf, behalf of minor, the legal person who, who is a guardian, he can exercise nominee. For example, I have opened an account to my uh, son who is a minor of two years boy, then I can appoint nominee. So the legally competent person who is representing minor can give nomination, but minor himself cannot nominate. If you understand two years boy, you will never do a mistake. BR Act is over. So we have defined in BR Act some important points. Again, we will repeat 19 to 30%, 30%, 20. We discussed about shares. Bank cannot lend on its own share. These two are very, very important. Okay, so then comes we have 45 ZDA to ZF nominations. It will discuss A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B is for deposits, first major. C, D is C, safe custody. E, F is locker or. Okay, now comes to NNA Act. NNA Act, there are so many sections again, but we will try to remember most important for examination point of view. Number one is section 456. These three sections we need not remember. Some sections we will try to have a logic. Number one is section four, promissory note. If you see NOTE note, it contains only four words. The four is called section four. Over. Then bill of exchange, you write in bills just for understanding. Section five is taking care of bills. These are five words. Then check CHUQU six, section six. Please remember this question was asked before last year for clerical to officer exam. Check is defined in which section? In recall question also, you can see this. Okay. Then all these section four, five, six, whatever instruments are there, 
promissory note bill of exchange check defined as negotiable instruments in section 13 so four sections are over what is this four five six these are all and negotiable instrument which section told section 13 then 8 9 10 serial it will come holder holder in due course payment in due course for examination purpose please remember you need not understand who is a holder who is a holder in due course. jb cmm na bahut padh liya now only remember the sections he will ask only section now you will not ask you what is a holder okay holder means the person is holding the holding the check that from the theory you will understand that's why he never asks such question he will ask only sections 8 9 10 the next two are very important 18 and 20 if words and figures if a check has been drawn if words and figures are different then bank has to pay by words which section section 18 in short instrument or incomplete instrument what is incomplement instrument if a check is drawn something is missing like date pay name or amount something is missing then it is called in chart incomplete instrument is called as in chart instrument and in chart instrument was discussed in section 20 of negotiable instrument act 1881 these are the very important sections only i am discussing if i want to give you an entire list i can give you you will not remember if you can remember you can go to any book and you can read all the negotiable instrument act sections now come to some other sections. Section 22. Three days grace period on USAN's bill. When USAN's bill is there, generally, as per Section 22 of NA Act, two days, three days grace they will get. Section 26. Minors can endorse a check, but they are not liable. Because he's a minor, he don't know anything, but they can endorse. But they are not liable. Section 48. An order check is transferable, negotiable, Order check can be transferable. When it can be transferable? By correct endorsement and a mere delivery. You have to give endorsement whom that check, whom that order check you are transferring that endorsement and a correct delivery, correct person you have to deliver the check. Then only that check is a check is in order. This is section 48. Why I have kept this in blue? The reason is these questions never asked in the examination. Okay? But you have to remember if this time it may come. So I am giving you a clear cut. Red means dangerous. This was asked in the examination hall. You should remember at any cost. Paying banker protection. See, as a paying banker, you are paying on a draft or an order check or a bearer check. You will get protection under section 85. And one more paying bank protection is there. Section 89. Very, very important. Last time or before last time, two times this question was came. You have paid a check. You have made a check payment, but check is materially altered. Small change they made. Some 10,000 is there. Somebody has got one small zero here. And some made words also, they made a small change. Then the bank cannot, in the naked eye, we were unable to find out that mistake happened in the check. This protection bankers are getting. Which section? 89. What 89 says again, I'm repeating. Paying banker will get protection, even check materially altered, but does not appear to be altered. When you see, you will not find anything. It looks perfect, but there is an alteration. In the naked eye, some modification made. In that bank got protection, under which section we will get protection is section 18. Hmm. Collecting banker protection is 131. If you are a check collection bank, section 131. These are all two you have to remember. 85 is paying back, 131 collecting back. 189 is alteration, materially alteration check. Now comes to crossing, general crossing and special crossing. These numbers are very peculiar. 123, 124. General crossing 124, special crossing 124. General crossing means simply writing two lines is general crossing. Special crossing means writing some bank name in between special crossing. That's all. Can you make special crossing to general crossing? You cannot make. See, this is general crossing. Simple two lines. 123. 124 is special crossing. Writing SBI name here. Now, whether general crossing, whether I can make special? Yes, I can make. Can I put SBI? Special crossing again. I can make it. But general crossing. Can I make it special crossing? General Special crossing is already SBI is there. Can I make to general? I cannot make. How can I cut SBI in between? So that is the reason general crossing can be made special crossing, but special crossing cannot be made general cross. This is the concept. Now come to dissolve of checks. Section 138. Section 138 of NA Act discuss about your dishonor of checks. 
dishonor of checks please remember dishonor means with insufficient funds only it should return this is one important point insufficient funds means the check i hope you know technical reasons sir signature date wrong signature wrong these things are not coming under dishonor of check for section 138 it is a check return but it will not it will not come under the purview of section 138 section 138 punishment is there so for a technical reason you cannot punish a person who has issued a check that is the reason if I, if amount is not there yes it is a punishable offense okay so first thing you have to understand is check should be returned for insufficient funds only technical reasons are not permitted under section 138 then one more important point i want to i would like to tell you which is not here there should be a consideration what is consideration c a is there b is there a issued a check to b just for a friendship for a gift he has given a check b wants money a has given a money check insufficient funds check returned whether he can file case under 138 no it's a gift sir how can if how can b can file a check to a case a file to a against a it is not possible but for example now again we will take a and b b has sold some goods so for example you have purchased some furniture from b now you have given a check to b there is a consideration you have given a for b has given a furniture to a and for this check has been given by a to b now if this check is returned yes he can file under 138 this is called whatever is material you have taken na this is this, this should be available then only we can file a case this is called consideration clear okay now insufficient funds insufficient funds check return ho gaya consideration is there now how to go again is the a a has given the check b wants to go again is what is, how we will go the first one is he has to give a notice to the drawer b has to give a notice to a that your check is returned please make the payment within 15 days if not paid in 15 days then prosecution will start okay and uh, cause of action cause of action means complaint to be filed in a magistrate court within one month from cause of action arising what is cause of action is expiring of notice period notice period kab expire hota hai this notice period you have given na 30 days notice 30 days notice period once it is expired from that within one month you can file a case in magistrate court of law against to b okay then magistrate will verify what happened all these things consideration is there or not check return insufficient funds reason they will take they will take your uh, bank's slip also then if judge believes that a has done a mistake then judge can make maximum penalty double the amount for example here consideration is 1 lakh maximum 2 lakhs punishment or 2 years imprisonment also they can impose double the amount 2 years imprisonment or both both also judge can give so judge is having full powers to give the punishment to a this is how dishonor of insufficient check return happens section 138 how it deals punishment you have to remember double the amount 2 years imprisonment or both and cause of action means 1 month and notice how much period he has to give now we will come to the relationship between banker and customer the first one is i told you when customer is giving the money to us as a deposit he is a creditor i told you giver is a credit taker is a debit just for understanding that means bank is taking money so bank is a debtor now you see deposit party has deposited the money what is the relationship between banker and customer customer is creditor banker is debtor for example bank is giving a loan to customer advance loan anything then what is the what is the position no we are giving the money so we are creditors customer is debtor so this is what these two are designed if you understand the top line the customer who is giving the money is a creditor remaining things is concept loan may you are giving money so you are a creditor in a deposit customer is giving money customer is creditor automatically bank is debtor okay this is how for example credit for confusing you they will not say it's a deposit they will say cc credit balance they will say sir there is one occ account is there there is a credit balance what is the relationship between banker and customer sir credit balance in a occ means limit is already over now he has deposited more money same relationship customer is customer's money you are holding so customer is creditor and bank is debtor both generally deposit a simple question 
to confuse you same thing they will ask occ credit balance account if customer is money with you always customer is credit card simple logic or od occ for example debit balance always od occ debit balance only it will be there so customer you are giving money bank is a credit card and customer is a credit card then comes to other points collection of check sir these are basic questions they never ask this type of questions only they will ask okay collection of check customer has given a check to canara bank for collection who is the owner of the check customer who is collecting bank is collecting who is principal who is the owner customer is owner so when check come for collection owner is borrow customer he is a principal you are as a banker you are acting as a agent for him to collect the check on behalf of him so in check collection principal is customer bank is agent like this whatever instructions or whatever things collecting or anything if customer is giving to bank always remember principal is customer agent is bank now you see the example standing instructions who will give borrower customer will give he is the principal who is executing bank may agent you are agent any service to customer also principal and same sale purchase of shares your customer has told please purchase some shares for me he is the principal you are a agent so principal agent customer is principal bank is agent in all these situations now comes to sale of purchase of securities if customer has asked to purchase of securities or sale of securities on behalf of you same principal he is principal you are acting as a agent when you understand the concept you need not by heart anything just under try to understand the concept maintaining currency chest remember currency chest is maintained by reserve bank of india not by your bank reserve bank of india is principal your currency chest is agent for rbi that's why principal is rbi agent is your currency chest when currency chest is coming to the picture and then issue of demand wrapped issue means purchase then who is giving the money customer is giving so customer is creditor your bank is debtor at the time of issue of draft just is depositing the money so issue of draft always customer is creditor and debtor okay then payment of draft payment of draft or money deposited without any instruction then beneficiary and trustee will come here why money deposited without instruction see for example one customer has write a paid in slip he has written 50000 and he has forgot to write the account number or name by the time link has down he has left the branch by the time link came you have seen that there is no name without name you cannot deposit because full particulars are not there you have to check account number name then only you have to credit phone number is also not available then you are keeping in some sl then customer two three days after that will come sir my i have deposited four days back 50000 sir amount was not there sorry sir that day link was down you have not written your name clearly now you please write we will deposit the money it happens na if these things money deposited without specific instructions if anything happens then always you remember whose money it is customer you are keeping in sl so you are a trustee for him so in those cases beneficiary is customer and trustee is your bank okay even payment of draft also same thing money has been given you have to make the payment now once the dd comes only you will make the payment the dd he has by issuing of dd created a data relationship he has taken the dd he will give it to somebody that somebody will deposit the dd till the time customer money is with you so customer is beneficiary and the bank is a trustee this is how you have to understand this concept then locker when you are hiring a locker to customer always even you are taking a personal lease you will call your landlord as a lesser right you are you are owner is a landlord you are a tenant same here also who is giving locker bank is giving locker bank is landlord the customer is tenant in other way we can also call landlord a tenant also we call and one more also we will use our landlords what lesser who is lesser if you if you read your lease agreement it is not written as landlord tenant it is rather less lease agreement they call lesser is owner less is yourself same thing when locker is giving bank is owner so lesser is bank less is your customer and one more word also they will use a licensor licensee they may ask in the safe deposit locker what is the relationship between banker and customer they can give choice any of these three you cannot assume that they will give lesser and less relationship they may ask landlord tenant they may ask licensor licensee anything is correct any relationship is correct you should understand all three now come to safe custody articles this the word what you are reading is 
generally if a, in jbc ab only you might have read this safe custody articles the relationship between banker and the customer is bailer and bailee customer is bailer who is giving the articles who is taking is bailee so banker is bailee customer is bailer it is a typical word you have to remember this you have to by heart safe custody of articles relationship between banker and customer is bailer and bailee customer is giving bailer we are taking we are bailee always the person receiving will take always the last e will come lee who is a who is taking or collecting bailer bailee customer is bailer you are taking safe custody articles you are a bailee now come to mortgage pledge hypothecation everything is same who is giving mortgage mortgage or customer bank is mortgage pledge customer is pledger bank is a pledge vehicle hypothecation vehicle is giving by owner hypothecator bank is hypothecator articles left by mistake gold uh, when the locker are in the somewhere in the branch somebody left an article same who is the owner original owner is a beneficiary you are as a trustee you are uh, on behalf of the customer you are acting as a trustee so beneficiary is your customer for this left out article trustee is your bank same thing here also you see you deposited money na beneficiary trustee beneficiary trustee anything left in your bank for without any instructions remember your bank will act as a trustee on behalf of customer the original owner will be called as beneficiary that's all now wrong credit given by the bank where amount so far not recovered see for example one customer came deposited money in his account in account number 1 wrongly you have created in 11 this is wrongly credited now what is the relationship between you and this customer wrong credit given wrong credit yahan de diye correct account but wrong chala gaya then remember the owner of that money is called as beneficiary the owner of the customer who is the owner he is the owner he is a beneficiary who is the trustee he is not the real owner so he is the trustee so this customer who is deposited na wrongly deposited he will become a trustee he will be the beneficiary this is how it looks if article left with the bank bank is a trustee if deposited wrongly he will become a trustee this is how you have to remember this type of question little bit typical when you understand the concept it will be easy now come to trades this is msme related point trades full form you have to remember trade receivables discounting system compulsory for turnover above 500 crores customers msme this is msme see this is a digital platform trex is a digital platform maintained by reserve bank of india in that msme for example um, msmes will uh, sell stock on credit for example then the receivables will come book debts will raise these book debts they can sell in this market for getting the liquidity liquidity so digital platform for msmes to auction their trade receivables at competitive rate through online bidding by financiers like banks so these msme see i have a msme i have a book manufacturing unit i have sold some 100 machines to somebody the amount i will receive after 3 months is a book debt receivable for me uh, but i want money immediately now i can go to this trades platform and i can sell this book debt with some lesser amount somebody will purchase from me and they will also collect from that customer this this for for you for selling this receivables there is a platform called trades this is running by reserve bank of india trades okay trades full form and who can do for compulsory for above 500 crores less than that it is not compulsory option and remember now banks has to purchase minimum 25% of their purchases from msme only we do na even that uh, sites and all also we we use na what is that site we generally purchase na jump portal okay okay schedule bank what is a schedule bank these are all the theory questions just try to understand included in second schedule of rbi having 5 lakhs paid up capital in reserve schedule bank may schedule if you want withdraw a schedule bank to be opened minimum 5 lakhs paid up capital in reserve should be there which was included in second schedule of rbi foreign bank means 15 lakhs capital in reserve but foreign bank opening in mumbai and kolkata 20 lakhs required that's all appointing of ombudsman we will discuss ombudsman at later stage who ombudsman ka scheme when it launched is dhamodaran committee recommended dhamodaran committee recommended internal ombudsman internal ombudsman how we ombudsman how it came 35a of banking regulation act just now i told you with the supreme powers given to rbi in the public interest rbi given 
ombudsman scheme guidelines under 35A. The committee recommended ombudsman is Damodaran committee. Who will be there? A GM or a CGM retired. General manager or CGM retired person can act as an internal ombudsman. He will discuss at the time of ombudsman. These are some technical words. Apiculture, fungiculture, olericulture, mulberry. Okay. This you have to buy heart. Last 20 years I am by hearting. You also have to buy heart. And remember whatever I made red. Very, very important. Apiculture, honeybees, fungiculture, mushroom, olericulture. I think two years back this question was asked. Olericulture. Vegetable cultivation is called olericulture. These are all agriculture people they know. But even a general staff like us, we can't remember. if they, 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 That is their part of job. So they know. So we should remember. BC culture, fish, aquaculture, fish. Aqua, I, I can say because aquaculture, everybody knows. Viticulture, grapes, horticulture, fruits and gardening. These cultures, you have to, vermiculture also, earthworms. Okay. If you are a science graduate, maybe you are knowing. If you are a commerce graduate, you should buy heart. No choice. Okay. If you are unable to buy heart, everything minimum, red and green, try to buy heart. Red is very important. Very, very important. Cash payments, withdrawal. These are the bank guidelines. One circular came this year. In the staff HRD matters, we may discuss in depth. Scale 1 can permit withdrawal slip up to 1 lakh. Staff check up to 1 lakh. Checks up to 2 lakhs. This is passing means system, he has to pass the check. Signature verification, he has to do it. But authorization, only manager has to do. Second line manager or a branch in charge only has to give authorization like pay cash. Okay, This is what the guideline says. Then comes to lien appropriation. These are all discussed in Indian Contract Act. They may ask you, lien was discussed in which act? Appropriation. It is all coming under Indian Contract Act. If the legal stature, there is no limitation for lien and appropriation. Priorities of appropriation. This is very important. If they give a case study, you should understand. Banker's lien, first priority. Attachment order, second priority. Garnish order, third priority. What is this? For example, you, are, you have given a loan or a, you are given a loan. Party is having a deposits also. For example, suddenly one attachment order came, garnish order came. Whether you will give the entire money to at, uh, uh, attachment order or garnish order, no. The first thing is, first whatever money customer is owned with you, you have to pay back to you. That you will take first. So bank take will first. We are holding the money. So we will take first. Second preference, whom we have to give? Attachment order or garnish? If same time received everything, then how to go about? Second preference should be given to income tax attachment order. Then comes to court order. Atta garnish order means court order. The attachment means income tax is given. This is how. So first priority to bank. Second adjustment will be given to attachment order. Third is garnish, court order. Okay. But remember, attachment order, please remember, balance available in the account and future balance also you can connect. Balance available in the account and future balances also you can appropriate the funds to IT authority. But court, when court is asking, you cannot give future balance. You can only give only balance available in the account. That's all. But attachment order limitation is 30 years and garnish order limitation is 12 years. HUF, Hindu undivided family. The eldest member can be male or female. This is, this is a call one Family will be there, uh, grandfather, fathers, everybody will stay in the same house like that. Okay, They are called as HUF like that, you understand. Hindu, undivided family. They don't want to divide. They want to be a group of people. Okay, Then it is called HUF. The eldest member, the senior, most senior person, maybe a male, maybe a female, will be called as Karta. Please remember, Karta liabilities, when a loan has been taken, Karta liabilities are unlimited. When Karta, the super senior region, the most senior is Karta, the remaining persons in HUF will be called as co-personers. And co-personers are liable to extent of their share only. Then, if Karta executes documents, if documents signed by all co-personers, then all personally liable. If Karta only executes document, Karta is fully liable, unlimited liable. Co-person liable to that extent. If everybody is executed documents, everybody is liable. That is the reason we always take signature of karta and co-personers also when we are financing to HF. Co-personers, other personers cannot countermand the checks. Very important. They will give a case study. In a HUF, karta issued a check. 
the core personals, remaining family members, somebody has felt that it's a wrong thing. So they want to stop a check. Whether they can stop the check? No. Because in the HEF, they told core personals cannot stop the check. Then, if Karta stays abroad, for example, Karta is going to America. Okay, he can be continued as a Karta or he can give a mandate to any outsider or any member of the family. For example, the Karta is going out. Next to next senior most, he can give also or he can keep also or he can give it to other person also. Anything he can do. Most important, this Hindu individual family cannot be a partner in a partnership form. In a partnership form, individuals will be partners, right? HUF cannot be a partner in a partnership form. This is with regard to HUF. Now comes to minor. A minor can cannot ratify agreement after attaining majority. Even after becoming 18 years, he cannot ratify any agreement. Then, minor can open self-operated account after 10 years, age of 10 years. But only thing is, he should be literate. He should be studying. Then only we can open account for a minor about 10 years. Then, two minors can open? Yes. Only thing is, both the minors should be about 10 years. Then we can, they can open, no problem. Who is a legal guardian? Legal means court. If court appointed somebody, he is called as legal guardian. Who it is meant by testamentary guardian? A father guardian appointed by will of father. Father will write a will. Generally, Muslims, it is more. When father writes a will, after my death, this person I am appointing as a guardian to my children. He is called testamentary guardian. So you should understand these words. Legal guardian, testamentary guardian. Legal guardian means court appoints. Testimony means father will appoint. Then, in a partnership, whether minor can be appointed as a partner, generally nobody will do. But as per law, it is permitted. Minor can be admitted in the partnership for the benefits only. For the benefits only. But remember, within six months after attaining majority, that means after 18 years, within six months, that means 18 years, six months, he has to confirm whether he wants to continue in the partnership form or whether he doesn't want to continue. This is very important. Six months is important for exam. Minor can, within six months, months after attending minor, have to give public notice whether he wants to continue as a partner or not. If remains silent, it implied consent. If he has not given, within 18 six months, he has not given anything. Then he will be treated as a partner. Then, if he want to choose to become a partner, held liable for admission. He cannot give stop payment. In a minor, even though he is a partner for the benefit of the partnership firm, he cannot give stop payment. In HUF, co-persons cannot give. In a partnership, minor cannot stop payment. But minor can ask, demand for statement or a passbook for the partnership firm. That much only has in powers. In a partnership firm, if he was admitted, admitted as a partner. Now, company. Company objectives. Company always you have to remember MOA, AOA. Memorandum of Association and Articles of Association. In KYC also, yesterday I told you, in the documents you have to take now, MOA. What is that? Memorandum of Association is objects, objective of the company. They may ask you, objective of the company is defined in which document? They will give MOA, AOA, all these documents. MOA contains objective. Objective means purpose. Why this company has come? What they want to do? What business they want to do? That will be written in MOA. Then comes Articles of Association. This is one more document company provides. That is internal rules and regulations they will write in this Articles of Association. Articles you connect with rules. Memorandum with objective. Then comes to conversion. NI Act 131. What is conversion? Check payable to a company should never be deposited personal account of director. See one, comp one company is there. X company. XYZ company is there. X is director, Y is director. Both are directors. Check issued in the name of XYZ. We X want to deposit this check. No. Only in XYZ account only we have to, company account only we have to deposit. We cannot deposit in director's account. This is what they are telling. If they are doing, it is called as conversion. NA Act 131 says conversion. Check payable to a company should never be deposited in personal account of the director. This is called conversion. Section is 131. Priority of charge. Decide on the date of execution of documents, not on the date of mortgage. See, these cases they will ask. Legal cases they will ask. See, for example, one company has executed documents in different, different places. Mortgage was done by somebody. 
then who will get the priority? Only one thing you have to remember is even execution of documents on a different date, mortgage on a different date, ultimately the priority will be given to date of execution of documents only. The first where he has executed documents, he will get the first priority. Logic, I will tell you. For example, what is the timeline for creation of charge? In a company, 30 days time is there for creation of charge. This company itself has permitted. ROC has permitted. See, one person has executed documents on 1st October. He is having up to 30th October. Somebody executed documents on 5th October. He is also having up to 5th November. For example, he is having 30th October, 30 days for 5th November. Both of them time is there. Whether this person mortgaged very fast, within before 20 days. This man took 30 days. He got delayed. Na? Whether he will be uh, having minus point? No. That is the reason they say date of execution is important, not date of mortgage. Whoever executes first will get the priority of charge. That bank will get priority. Okay. Then registration of charge. I told you, na, just company, duty of the company register. Ye company ko karna, bank ko How many days? Within 30 days for normal, fi normal filing. 30 days additional time also will be given. So maximum to register under ROC is 30 days. Additional 30 days also can be given. This is maximum time. Then OPC full form, one person company. This is banking ombudsman. Banking ombudsman, last time also one question came. I'll tell you when I'm discussing about the answer. See, banking ombudsman also section 35. These are the in the public interest, RBI is having full powers. In that only, banking ombudsman also, they have issued guidelines. Now, let us see. What type of cases banking ombudsman sees? Any deficiency with regard to deposit. Please remember, deposit related, any deficiency in service, banking ombudsman will take up the case. Credit, they don't take. But, but, generally, sir, manager loan nahi kar rahe, sir, case lelo, ombudsman will not take. Credit part, ombudsman will not take. Deficiency in service deposits they will take, but credit also some part they will take. What is that? Ancillary advances, for example, including fair practice code, credit card, they will take up cases. Not only that, in loans, non observations of RBI directions, that is, delay in sanction and disbursement, time schedules, arising out of third party products, digital transactions. See, for example, third party products, yes, they will take up. Third party price, insurance problems, they will take up. Digital transactions, ombudsman will take up. Loans within the time frame given by RBI, if bank is not sanctioning, that they will consider under banking ombudsman. So these are the areas which banking ombudsman is dealing, not loan matters. But loan also, few things they will, dis they will uh, deal. What are they? L timings, third party products, digital, any delay in sanctions, Fair practice code, whether you are following or not, credit card. What is fair practice code? For example, agreement copy, you have to provide. Once the agreement is over, Jerax karke, one copy you have to provide to the customer. That is called fair practice code. Those things, RBA, uh, banking ombudsman will interfere. Okay? Credit card also, RBA will, ombudsman will interfere. Okay? Now come to prerequisites. Okay, your customer is unsatisfied, he wants to go to ombudsman. What is the first prerequisite? Customer has to make a complaint to bank and wait for one month. He cannot go directly to banking ombudsman. First, he has to make a complaint to internal ombudsman of the bank. Just now I have discussed the Amodaran committee recommended internal ombudsman. Correct? Na? Internal ombudsman, I told CGM, GM, retired person will be acting as an internal ombudsman. For example, internal ombudsman means Canara Bank also we have an internal ombudsman. But our GM, CGM will not be an internal ombudsman. Other bank retired GM or CGM bank will appoint as a internal ombudsman for our bank. Okay. This is how the internal ombudsman come into picture. So these customers in Canada bank or any bank, if they got any deficiency in service regarding deposits, credit card, third party, digital, first they have to approach internal ombudsman, which is available in the respective bank. Okay. How much time? One month. First 30 days, they have to go and tell internal ombudsman, please resolve my problem. If internal ombudsman is unable to resolve the problem within one month, then next one year, they can go to ombudsman of RBI. Okay. Other if internal ombudsman is not there earlier, all the complaints due to go to ombudsman only. RBI ka kaam hota tha, ombudsman settle 
तो इसीलिए आरबीएस सेट we will keep a domodaran company said put a mental ombudsman in every bank so that some screening will be done there some cases will come down there if any cases unable to resolve by internal ombudsman then it comes so a neutral person should be there as internal ombudsman that's why other bank gm will come and sit there concept is clear now now limitation within how many days limitation means if a customer is having a problem on customer deficiency whether he can go to ombudsman and after 10 years ombudsman he can go up to after 10 years no they said maximum time permitted to go to ombudsman is one year one month why one year one month one month is to go to this ombudsman mental ombudsman not resolved next one year time to go to ombudsman that is the reason the maximum limitation permitted in banking ombudsman is one year one month from date of representation to bank first he has to go to mental ombudsman from there one year one month award how much award award they will call we can say compensation also award how much banking ombudsman give maximum 20 lakhs earlier it was 10 lakhs now it is 20 lakhs in case of credit card maximum ombudsman can give 1 lakh but last time the question came is mental agony customer is unhappy with the, the bank mental agony depression mein chala gaya ho he wants mental agony also then banking ombudsman says maximum 1 lakh can be given this question came to scale 2 to 3 last year see i cannot expect which question will come you should understand the concept some numbers also you have to remember some dates also you have to remember whatever question comes you have to answer then the last point with regard to ombudsman ombudsman award is 20 credit card 1 lakh mental agony 1 lakh these three are very very important remaining is theory sir theory by reading on those lines now when you examination you are preparing for example what type of deficiencies reserve bank of india banking ombudsman will refer by reading the lines deposits ha huh? yes correct advances credit card ha huh? yes digital yes this is not your memory your concept but numbers is not concepts sir you will get confused so you have to more concentrate on numbers concept when i am discussing the points you have to remember for example banking ombudsman come under which section number 35a of br act he will say that your br act rbi act ye act and act wo act ye confuse karta hai wo you should not get confused okay now bank has to settle the banking ombudsman award once for example ombudsman has awarded bank you made a mistake you pay 10 lakhs bank has to pay within 30 days or they have to go to appeal against ombudsman okay this is what so bank has settled the bank within 30 days or go for the appeal from the date of acceptance award from the customer 30 days or appeal from the date of receipt of acceptance of award from the customer maximum time now we will go to dacgc deposit insurance credit guarantee corporation in this slide i am discussing many points the most important point dacgc is the dacgc coverage is maximum 5 lakhs and the premium paid is 12 paisa per 100 these two are very 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 important 5 lakhs is the amount which and remember these 5 lakhs also if different banks are customer is having accounts every bank dacgc will cover 5 lakhs premium paid by the bank is 12 paisa per 100 and this premium will be paid by the bank not the customer now let us see dacgc whom they have permitted to take coverage whether all the banks can take yes most of the banks can take every bank is covered when all are covered na only one person will be odd man out who is that odd man out that you have to read primary cooperative societies see i have written many things here but the most see all banks foreign banks local banks rrbs everything is covered cooperative bank kya karna hai sir yaad rakhiye cooperative societies nahi karna hai remaining all banks are covered when more are there one is odd man out remember that odd man out when you are reading anything primary cooperative societies are not being covered under dicgc next what are the deposits will be covered all deposits SB, FD, current account, RD, everything is covered except the following type of deposits. Generally, in a bank, you do this. Am I right? SB, current account, all are covered. Whatever you are doing, it is covered. Now, the exceptions I will give you. It is out of the box. Deposits of foreign government, deposits of central government, interbank deposits, state land development banks, state cooperative banks, the amount due on account of deposit received outside India. That means. Amount which is specifically like a corporation with the previous approval of RBI. These are odd man outs. No need to remember also. You remember this. He will. They will add one more point like this. Out of the following, DICGC will not cover the following deposit. They will give one among this. 
mostly they will give you this type of interbank deposit. Interbank deposit not covered because you are not dealing. You remember for DIGG, for example, whatever you are dealing only covered, remaining all not covered. This is correlated to banking. This is an amount, any amount due an account of deposit received from outside India. This type of things, they will keep you in the choice for a 50 choice to remove the odd man out. You should remove. Then maximum 5 lakhs. But remember, the amount should be held in same right and same capacity. And the most important point, deposits in different banks are separately insured? Yes. DICG says yes. Insurance coverage limit is applied separately to deposit in each bank. For example, customer has deposited 5 lakhs in your bank. 5 lakhs will cover. If you 5 lakhs in SBI, bank of law, all 15 lakhs is covered. Okay? Premium, 12 paisa per 100. Bank will borrow. And the premium payment to DICGC, banks has to pay half yearly. This borrowing has to be done half yearly. This is with regard to DICGC. This is consumer forum. Ombudsman is customers can go. Now you can go. For example, you have purchased a product in Amazon or some shop. You are not happy with the goods and services. You can go to forum, district consumer forum. There are three types of forum. District, state, national. If district consumer forum you have lost, you can go to appeal to state. You lost the state, you can go to national. If national means Supreme Court of India. Appeal is appeal, appeal about. Remember these numbers. But remember this question I am not expecting because it is 6 bar 2022 circular. I presume that from 422 only it will start 522. It may not ask. Just try to remember if at all this question is last year. If they want to pick, they can pick. This is a general, general question. 50 2 crore, yeah, about 2 crore. This one number you have to remember. Now, when you understand district, state, national, all three are there, remember amount 50 lakhs, 50 lakhs to 2 crore, about 2 crores. But when you have lost the case in district, when you want to appeal in a state, these are the guys. District forum, you want to go to state. From state, you want to go to nation. Nation, you want to Supreme Court. First case, 45 days, remaining all 30 days. From the date of National Commission order, within 30 days, you have to go to Supreme Court. And remaining, when you go to appeal, case is against the you. For example, you are a customer. You are a customer, you have purchased from Amazon. The district court told Amazon is correct. You are wrong. Then you can go to appeal within 45 days from the order of district. And please remember, you have to deposit 50% of the amount ordered by the commission. If commission orders any penalty to that customer, 50% has to pay. In all the cases, 50%. There is no confusion about percentage of pre condition, precondition, that amount you have to pay. But days, there is a difference, 45 days. For district forum to state only, 45, remaining all 30. For uh, payment, all are 50%. This you have to remember, 50 lakhs, 2 crores, about 2 crores. This is about consumer forum cases. Now, right of subrogation and right of, red, right of redemption. Guarantor. See, once you have given a loan, there is a guarantor. Guarantor has paid the amount. Your borrower is not paying. Then guarantor can step into the shoes of the creditor of discharging the liabilities of principal borrower. Okay? He can step into the shoes. That is called right of subrogation. Then comes right of redemption. Right of redemption means mortgager. You have mortgaged to a bank. You have given the loan documents. Once the mortgage, the loan is repaid, you have a every right to take back the document that is called right of redemption. Limitation is 30 years. Okay? Subrogation is very important. They never ask a redemption. Guarantor stepping into the shoes of the creditors is called right of subrogation. Customer day, 15th of every month. They will ask, Clayton rule is applicable to which case? OCC account only, it is applicable. FIFO, first, first in, first out. This is Clayton rule. Okay? On the death of one of the partners, this rule will applicable. This rule is applicable in a partnership form. OCC partners are there. Then, if death of any partners, Clayton rule is applicable for that partnership form. Immediately, you have to stop and you have to inform the legal heirs. Okay. If any nobody has informed nothing, account was running. Then the the person who died is not responsible. Now come to RTI Act, Right of Information Act. See here one. I again I tell you Indians. Anybody will do. You will do NRA, I will do. So Indian citizen. Remember, NRA can do. He is also. But a person of Indian origin cannot file 
case in RTI. This is important. RTI, PIO, Capazon of Indian origin cannot fight. Only Indians, NRIs can do. NRI is also Indian. He came, he went from there. Person of Indian origin is different. We will discuss in Forex. Then, how it will be dealt? RTI in a case, some information they want. How? All branch heads, unit heads, section in charges are designated as CAPIOs. Central Assistant Public Information Officers to receive RTI application. To receive RTI application, they are the people. Branch people, united section in charge. On receipt of applications by these three people, CAPIOs, they will forward to the concerned Central Public Information Officer. Generally, a scale four sitting at RO will be the Central Public Information Officer. How he will reply? Some customer of your branch has asked the data. How a RO person will reply? So that is the reason what you have to do is as a CAPIO, as a branch in charge is, along with the information sought, your views, comments, everything within five days, you have to inform to central public. RO is a, RO DM is a central public information officer. When RTA case has come, somebody filed an RTA, they want some information. That information along with your views, comments, you have to provide to central public information officer who is nothing but your RODM. And RODM will reply. You are not the authority. You are not the authority to reply. That's why you are sending this person. How he can reply? You have to give the information. Within how many days? Within five days. Okay. Then what is the maximum time? RTA reply. Reply karna hai na inko. reply karna hai. How much time? Normal situation, 30 days. Third party information, if anybody wants in RTA, 45 days. Life and liberty, very urgent. Hospital may have 48 hours. Then this rule will not come. Immediately have to inform to your immediately have to inform me, immediately have 48 hours. Life and liberty, 48, third party, 45 days, normal situation, 30 days. Generally 30 days. Okay, third party means 40 days. Life and liberty is 48 hours. Two, two if you are not providing the information. In the stipulated time, what is the penalty? Minimum 250 per day. After 30 days or after 45 days, after 48 hours, based on the situations, 250 per day, maximum penalty 25,000 you have to pay because you have not provided information under RTI within the time stipulated. Penalty is most important. Days are most important. They never asked these, never asked these points, they have asked. Days. Based on situation, how many days you get and what is the maximum penalty? Most important is penalty. Now come to certificate of deposits and commercial paper. What is certificate of deposit? They never ask a definition at all, don't worry. But for understanding, let me let me read that. Negotiable money market instrument. What is certificate of deposit? It is also a money market instrument. It is negotiable. Negotiable it is transferable. Issued in DMAT form. A USANS promissory note for funds deposit at, at a bank or other financial institution. That is called certificate of deposit. Okay. They will funds deposit in a bank or FI. One certificate of deposit will be issued. It can be transferred. Okay. And it should be only in DMAT form, not physical form. That is called certificate of deposit. Who can issue? By taking money, who can issue? Scheduled commercial banks can issue. RRBs, SLBs and all India financial institutions. There is an RBI notification in June 2021. Okay. Scheduled commercial banks, RRBs, SLBs, all India financial institutions. What is called by all India financial institutions? Your regulators. NABAD, EXIM, SIDB, NHB, NAMFID. National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. This is NAMFID full form. I have written this is recently launched NAMFID. Our own bank. GM or uh, ED has went to that NAMFIT. Exactly name, I don't remember. So, NABAD, exam, should be in NAMFIT. We are the All India Financial. They also can issue certificate of deposits. All India Financial Institutions. So, banks, RRBs, SRBs, All India. Now, issue to, kisko dete hain? All persons in India, but only dematerialized format. I told you, only demat. The most important, who can issue? What is the denomination? Denomination is 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs. Earlier guidelines are different. I don't want to tell the guideline. It is a wrong guideline. The correct guideline is 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs. This notification has changed. Maturity days. Minimum 7 days. Maximum 1 year for certificate of deposits. 
issued on t plus 1 basis once somebody applies within t plus 1 basis it will be given this is certificate of deposit remember denomination who can issue and uh, all india financial institutions try to remember concept all india means you you don't remember nabard exams if you know nam fit just remember the new one then we will go to commercial paper commercial paper is also a unsecured money market instrument this is negotiable this is unsecured remember okay issued in demat form only in the form of a promissory note issued through any depositors approved by sebi only depositors approved by sebi only can issue commercial papers okay issued by who will issue commercial papers companies non banking financial companies financial institutions where net worth is 100 crores and high those those people only can give denominations again 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs both are same no confusion issued at discounted face value this is called commercial paper and certificate of deposits this period also very important sir 7 days and maximum 1 year now call money notice money term money treasury bills call money is very easy overnight overnight calling is called call money notice money means 2 to 14 days term money means more than 15 days these three terminologies you have to remember cnt member cbo we call na cnt call money notice money term money cnt call money means overnight only overnight notice money means 2 to 14 15 days or more treasury bills treasury bills will be issued in denomination of 91 182 264 double all 91 into 2 182 into 264 okay this is how treasury will be issued these are the general concepts i have discussed now let us discuss what are the circulars issued in 2022 september to till september 2023 then entire general banking part will be completed shall we need a break how much time okay it's 1151 i'll take a break of 15 15 minutes sir are you there sir okay okay friends i'll uh, keep Hello, open like this sir? yeah sir just i would like to take a break sir let them take a break it is one hour yeah, yeah. minutes over i will give a break sir yesterday sure. also in jagannath sir class everybody was asking for a break <laughs> <laughs> i think they will get exhausted na sir this topics also like that sometimes yeah okay so friends okay. we will take a break and uh, okay. i think i'll come back at around 12:05 okay now it is 11:50 in my time exactly 12:10 i will come 20 minutes break we will take then i'll finish the circulars part 12 10 okay. now 11 52 it is 12 10 18 minutes break thank you Hello. yes yes sir yes is that okay sir presentation yeah is it okay if possible share your can remain telegram link later in the chat box okay sir okay okay sir uh, okay yeah. friends we will continue one sir yeah obtention of life certificate from pensioners there is a circular in finite date also recently also the circular came see when we are taking life certificate from this pensioners the bank guideline says there are two type of pensioners will come one is above 80 years and below 80 years above 80 years people bank said life certificate we can obtain from 1st october itself not 2022 even 23 whatever it may be 1st october we can obtain and this will be valid till 30th of november that means it will be valid for 13 months but below 80 years as usual november only we will obtain what they want to tell here is generally life certificate we will obtain in the month of november only november to october again november they will give fresh this is the guidelines for below 80 years 
the above 80 years people when they come and stand in line they are aged now they can't stand so one month prior they will submit the certificate october month exclusively they have kept for 80 years and above people so that the line the standing that queues they can avoid but the certificate is valid till november even though they give in October, it is not for 31st, 30th September, straight away up to November. That means their validity is 13 months. For less than 80 years, 1st November to 31st October only, 12 months validity. This is one advantage or a provision or a privilege given to 80 years and above senior citizens, super civil. So this is one date change. Then, when life, uh, what is the way to submit life, uh, these uh, life certificates? Signed by designated officials can be given. Jeevan Praman portal, they can apply. Indian Post Payment Bank, Post Office, they can go. Through doorstep banking, they can give life certificate. Video-based customer in, in identification. Yesterday, I told you, VCIP process. Through that also, they can provide. Face authentication, they can give. And a physical appearance. These are the modes available to provide your life certificate. Okay? Then, then they may ask you modes. Or they may ask you, life certificate signed by designated official means... Personal appearance of the pensioner will not be required. Once a designated official has signed, we will we will know in the next slide who are all the designated officials who will sign. But once they signed, their appearance is not required. Okay, so pension lives are from signed by a designated official. Then comes different personalities. This is normal pensioners, freedom fighters, central freedom fighters. Please remember this is a different point. Central freedom fighters. Pension aged 80 years and above, aged people there. Life certificate twice we have to take. For all these people, only once, sir. For Central Freedom Fighters, twice we have to take, and the dates are May and November. May and November, that means 31st May and the last day of the month, November 30th. So May and November, twice they have to provide life certificates. Whom they have to, who, who are they? 80 years and above, Central Freedom Fighters. This question may come. My, this is because it's the latest circular, it is there. Then, migration of defense pension account in Ahmedabad, they have done. The name of that package is called Sparsh. Sparsh is migration of defense accounts, pensions, okay? Then, who are all the designated officials? Who can give? See, a person is a bedridden. He can't come. But somebody has to certify, now. Who can? The designated officials are magistrate, sub registrar, gadgeted officer, Police officer not below the rank of sub-inspector, postmaster, inspector of post office, class 1 officer of the RBI, including grade 2 officer of the SBI or its subsidiary, justice of peace, block development officer, BDO, Munsif, Tasildar, Nayab Tasildar, head of the village panchayat, gram panchayat, gaon panchayat, executive committee of village, member of parliament. All these people can countersign and physical presence is not required by the pensioner to provide life certificate. Plus, these, these people have to sign and provide. And the treasury officer also can give. These are the designated officials who can sign on the life certificate. And without presence of the uh, pensioner, this certificate can be given and bank has to accept. This is the guideline of central government. Now comes to some fire safety measures. The CCTV footage of administrative units, you know, the CO, ROs, the maximum period which we have to preserve is 30 days. Then, this is only one question from that. Then comes reduction of timeline for withdrawal from NPS scheme. If somebody has kept a deposit under NPS scheme, then how much time to withdraw? Now, PFRDA, Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority. What they told, they reduced the timeline. Generally, earlier, once they claim the withdrawal, they used to get in T plus 4 days. Transaction plus 4. Now it is reduced to T plus 4 days. T plus 2 days. Okay? Then, but this T plus 2 days, there are so many companies dealing with this. Subscribers. Subscribers who are associated, these NPS subscribers, who are associated with protein e-government technologies, for example, within 10.30 in the morning, if they apply, they will be given in T plus two days. But if the subscribers are associated with KFIN technologies or CAM SRA, these two companies, then 
before 11 o'clock if they author, they give a request for withdrawal it will be settled in t plus 2 days normally t plus 2 days and pfrda tour but based on the company time is restricted protein e govern 10 30 remaining these come up to 11 am if, even if you request also that day within two days your amount will, the nps customer will get the get back the amount of travel this is the guideline then incentive providing for non just branches if non just branches what is the incentive recently rbi changed this large modern currency chest service charges by large modern currency chest if they are depositing any package for 100 pieces they will charge 8 rupees now earlier it is 5 rupees now rbi increased it to 8 rupees per packet facility for exchange of notes and coins if any customer comes for exchange of notes and coins what is the rbi directions so most important directions we will see these are all what are the duties we have to do including fresh quality exchange of soil notes all these things we have to do okay then if you are giving coins if you are a bank as a banker if you are issuing coins you can give in the packets of 100 pieces and one rupee two rupee shall be accepted by payment also through weight also we can give one rupee and two rupee coins remaining all 100 rupee sachets we will take we will make a 100 rupee sachet one cup packet and we can give and all the bank branch people have to accept denominations of paisas 50 paisa and above up to 20 20 20 paisa coin is available all we have to accept 50 rupees 1 rupee 2 rupee 5 rupee 10 rupee 20 rupees also there generally we will see up to here 20 we generally don't see but rbi in the guidelines they told 20 rupees also there we have to accept maybe you might have seen many people then please remember an important guideline small finance bank and payment banks may exchange mutilated notes defective notes at their option this is a very peculiar point. General Reserve Bank of India tells everybody to accept. Commercial banks, they have to accept. But small SFBs and PBs, they told that their option, they have been given option. If they want to exchange, they can exchange. Otherwise, they can request them to go to Reserve Bank of India or a currency chest. Exchange of soil notes, very, very important. Maximum exchange of soil notes a bank branch should give is 20 pieces with a maximum 5,000 per day. This number you have to remember. Soil notes in a branch, you have to accept 20 pieces with a maximum of 5,000. And please remember, across the counter you have to pay, even a non-customer you have to do, and a free of charge you have to do. Free of charge guidelines. But if somebody presented in bulk, somebody brought soil notes of 1 lakh rupees, then what is the guideline? More than 20 and 5,000, if anybody presented value per day, bank shall accept them again as the receipt for the value credit letter. Bank shall levy service charges. About 20 pieces and 5,000 rupees, bank will charge service charges from the customer. And they will accept again as the receipt for a value to be created later. Value will be given later. Now, what is a mutilated note? Last time they have asked in one, one exam. Mutilated note. They have given the composition and told what it is called. Mutilated means note of a which portion is missing or which is composed of more than two pieces. Then it is called as mutilated note. Soiled note means dirty note or a single cut is there. Single, single piece is there, cut. Then it is a soiled note. More than two pieces, some portion is missing. It is called mutilated note. So you should have an understanding what is a soil note, what is a mutilated note. Exchange of mutilated note. Non-chest branches are required to do this procedure. Who are having non-chest, those branches what to do. For example, if mutilated notes, which are more than two pieces, piece is missing, then Reserve Bank of India told banks up to five pieces, non-chest branches shall normally adjudicate the notes. They may ask you mutilated notes in a small number up to how much extent non chest branches shall normally adjudicate the notes. Maximum is five notes, only five pieces. If more than that, if you are receiving, then you can send to linked currency just branch and that currency just branch after receiving within 30 days, they have to credit to the account of the customer. This is the guideline with regard to notes presented. Which one? Mutilated in small number. 
इफ म्यूटिलेटेड गिवन इन बल्क बल्क का मीनिंग है मोर देन फाइव पीसेस नॉट एक्सीडिंग फाइव थाउजेंड देन दे सेट वेरी क्लियरली द टेंडर द पर्सन हु इज डिपॉजिटिंग मनी हैज टू एडवाइज इट टू सेंड दिस नोट टू नियर बाय करेंसी चेस्ट ब्रांच बाय इंश्योर्ड पोस्ट गिविंग हिज बैंक डिटेल्स और get them exchanged there in person he can go to non currency just branch and he can transfer he can ask for exchange or he can send by issued post and he can ask for credit this is what for notes presented in bulk bulk means above five pieces not exceeding 5000 if value exceeds 5000 again same he will approach nearby currency just branch okay through issued post also you can send physically also you can do ultimately the amount should be credited in electronic means within 30 days so what i want to tell you here is after taking these two slides soil notes 20 pieces maximum 5000 free of cost bank has to do this is very very important okay more than that 20 pieces and 5000 we will take charges from the customer okay but mutilated notes meaning is portion is missing or more than two pieces in that up to five pieces if your branch is a non chest branch you can adjudicate the notes if more than that if anybody is receiving then you have to send it to more than five pieces means you have to send it to nearby currency chest branch then they can take the notes to physically and exchange or else what they can do insured post also customer can send ultimately within 30 days customer account should be credited by verifying the notes this is the guideline now extremely brutal burnt charred stuck up notes how to handle extremely brutal badly burnt then not to be accepted by the bank branches for exchange we should not accept this is what rbi guidelines says instead hum we are not taking na then we have to advise them to go to rbi issue office nearby and to exchange the notes okay they will adjudicate under a special procedure they will do okay then if notes are with slogans scribbling and stains they should not be reissued for circulation directly it should be remitted to onward remittance to we have to remit to our chest currency just will then send it to rbi for which notes slogan scribbling and stain is there deliberate cut torn altered or tampered see intentionally somebody has deliberately somebody has done it cutting then we have to reject the note then uncurrent coins what is uncurrent coins the coins of 20 paisa paisa and below is called as uncurrent coin presently it is no it is seized it doesn't have a legal tender okay then migration of defense account I already told you purchase is the package obtention of only for defense pension sparch is a package developed by pcd allahabad wherein all defense package accounts paid by cpp shall be migrated monthly pensions will be directly paid by this defense department understand remember the name called sparch sparch which is for defense pension defense pensioners then we will come to sovereign gold bond scheme as you know that many of you many of you have purchased a sovereign gold bond so this sovereign gold bond the calendar the dates will who will issue ministry of finance and rbi rbi is working under ministry of finance okay then this gold bond generally will be open for 5 days that is monday to friday monday to friday only five days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday khatam the rate everything government and ministry will this ministry and rbi will decide who are eligible to purchase individuals purchase can purchase huf can purchase trust can purchase university can purchase charitable institutions also can purchase very important they may add somebody who is not eligible and they will ask you to remove odd man out so individuals you know very well huf also h trust university charity all can purchase what is the tenor of sovereign gold bond the maximum period is 8 years sovereign gold bond 8 years but premature redemption after 3 years party can do generally again i am repeating very important line sovereign gold bond is party has to do it for 8 years but after 8 years after within 8 years after completion of 5 years if they want premature withdrawal they can do premature withdrawal is very important after 5th year they can do because two circulars came in this year minimum size if anybody wants to purchase this sovereign gold how much they can purchase this is nothing but online purchasing gold from government of india 
वन ग्राम ऑफ गोल्ड मिनिमम वन ग्राम मैक्सिमम फोर के जी कैन बी परचेज इंडिविजुअल हेच यू एफ कैन परचेज फोर के जी बट ट्रस्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्वेंटी के जेस दे कैन परचेज वॉट एवर आई कैप्ट इन रेड यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर यू नो डोट है चॉइस Twenty kgs only trust can purchase under sovereign gold. All others only four kg. Minimum is one gram. Now issue price fixation. This is not so important for your knowledge only. I am telling how the price will be fixed. Five thousand one hundred, five thousand two hundred. They will fix now how the price of the gold is triple nine period. This is important. How much purity of gold? Government of India or Ministry of Finance is selling under sovereign gold. Triple nine purity. The rate who will publish? Indian Bullion Bullion and Jewellery Association Limited. They will give, give the rate to Ministry. How they will give the rate? They will give last working days, last three working days, the working days of the week preceding the subscription period. For example, tomorrow is Monday. From tomorrow onwards, they want to open a scheme for five days at some rate. Last three days, last Friday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. Three days they will take average and they will give the price based on that rate will be decided. So they may ask you how many working days they will take. Three working days, last three working days they will take. Online, if anybody is purchasing sovereign gold bond through online, fifty rupees discount will be given per gram. Then anybody wants to purchase, they can purchase sovereign gold bond by cash also, but up to maximum twenty thousand only. DD or check or electronic banking, any amount, no problem. Then, what are the sales channel? Who are all selling the sovereign gold bond? One is your bank, commercial bank. Not only commercial bank, stock holding corporation of India is selling, clearing corporation of India is selling, post offices are selling, stock exchanges like NSC, BSC also selling. And please remember, these people can send directly also. Through agents also, even banks also, we are directly using our own staff for selling of the sovereign gold. Even we can use agents also, but we have to pay some commission. Now, rate of interest. Remember, whoever deposited money in sovereign gold bond, they will get rate of interest of two point five percent half yearly. Half yearly is nothing but semi annually. Tax treatment. Whatever interest you are getting on sovereign gold bonds of two point five percent, this is taxable. Then commission. How much commission bank will get? One percent of the total subscription under so. How much we have garnered for sovereign gold bond on that amount total subscription? One percent we will get commission. Out of that one percent, fifty percent commission we can give it to our agents if we are using agents or sub agents. This is the guideline with regard to sovereign gold bond scheme. Now come to implementation of second level authorization in GL. See six eighty two S E A T E A L F C any advances debits about twenty five thousand. A second level authorization is required. That means two people have to authorize G L S. So bank wants to alert on G L S. Then P F R D A again Pension Fund Regulatory Authority has extended the limit of investment under asset. Class equity for tier one and tier two N P S accounts as follows. They have extended the limit. How much limit of there is a tier one and tier two? Please remember tier one, tier two is there. If it is a tier one, they have extended limit investment is from fifty percent to seventy five percent of subscribers contribution under part one, tier one under the active choice without any conditions of tapering from the age of fifty one years. At the, from the age of fifty-one years, what they can do? They can extend from fifty percent to seventy-five percent under tier one. Under tier two, they can extend up to hundred percent, but again the age is above fifty-one years. This is the guidelines extended the limit of investment under tier one and tier two NPS. Then voluntary contribution of Vidyanjali Initiative of Ministry of Education. This is not so important for exam. Just have a look on that. This is started by minister, uh, our honourable prime minister, and what is the this scheme is the scheme you should know, Vidya Anjali education na voluntary contribution, the people in India can contribute citizens NRIs person of Indian PSUs autonomous bodies civil society so everybody can support what type of support they want they can contribute how they can contribute by giving service they can give contribute by providing some. Assets, materials, equipment to this particular 
scheme called Vidyanjali. So government has taken initiative. NRS all can support this particular initiative by way of providing service. You can go and take classes. You can give some benches, chairs, all these things, computers like that. Okay. This is the scheme of Vidyanjali. Then digital signature. Who should have minimum scale one and above only? And remember, POs are not eligible. And application should be signed in blue ink only. Whatever application you are applying through this uh, digital certificate. And branch under their jurisdiction has at least two digital certificates. Every branch should have minimum two digital certificates. These are all the circulars. Very important for you. I don't know which line you will pick up. Now, internal control system maintaining currency chest. Currency chest, I told you, principle is RBI. RBI has given a guidelines with regard to concurrent audit to be done on weekly basis. Who will do? Concurrent auditors. RBI has instructed new reporting format. For what? Concurrent auditors. On what? All currency chest transactions. How much deposited in currency chest? How much withdrawn? How much remitted? How much diversion they have done? What is the opening balance? What is the closing balance? All these things to be verified by the concurrent auditors of the bank on a weekly basis. This is the new guideline which RBI issued in the end of the last year. Then accounting year of the RBI is changed. Earlier accounting year of the RBI is July to June. Now April to March. Like as only financial year. So earlier is July to June. Now April to March. So what they told is this certificate, whatever the chartered accountants are giving the, on weekly basis. This they should give on last working day of February and March of each year. And submit the report of fifth day of succeeding month. So this is how they have to submit the report. Safe deposit lockers. There is an insurance coverage now. Now bank has covered up to 31st December 2023. Bank has tied up with national insurance company. First is company. National insurance company bank has tied up. But if any happen, anything happens in the lockers, then within 24 hours, a claim notification has to be sent to this insurance company with the, from the time of detection of lock. Once the incident is seen by the managers or the branch staff, within 24 hours, they have to claim to this insurance company. If this happens on holiday, next day we can give the complaint. And next day we can give the information. Then policy coverage for the damage or loss of the contents of the lockers, how much bank has taken. Maximum limit is 100 times the annual locker rent paid by the customer as per RBI guidelines. This is RBI guidelines. Not only bank, RBI stipulates these guidelines. 100 times of annual locker rent will be covered under this policy. Then, any physical damage to locker cabinet is not covered. Only the contents inside the locker only covered under insurance. Okay, Damage on the physical locker is, they are not covering. Then there are two types, section one, section two. Section one is safe deposit locker cover. All risks are covered here. How much amount they have covered? 60 crores. Deductible nil. Section two is if anything war, terrorism or a political violence happened during